another video. If you're new to our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and go check out our Instagram pages. The links are in the description below. I post updates and new information on a lot of our animals and our different adventures that we go on. So today we went to the FedEx Ship Center and we got a new box with a critter. We've had one of these critters in the past, so you can kind of guess if you've seen some of our other videos, but we are super excited. This was one of my dream animals and I was able to have it. And now we are getting another one. So we are gonna go visit daddy and we are gonna show him because he is local right now. And then we are gonna take it home and unbox it and show you all what we got. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. All right, let's go. Hey. 1990 Dad. special, baby. <laughs> you know. Daddy was too excited we had to come so we could open this. But we're not going to actually show you right now, but he's going to open it and we're going to look at it. You guys um, will see it in a few minutes. At home. <laughs> a few seconds. I mean, whatever the video takes. Okay. Depends on how much she cuts out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a secret. I'll probably edit some. Okay, we got to be quiet. It can hear us. All right, we made it back home, and now we are gonna unbox this little creature. We have our audience as usual. All right. Look at that little guy. Hi. Look at you. He is a teeny weeny little thing. Hmm. Can I get you out? This bag is not the best thing, I'm telling you. It's okay. I know, I know. It's okay. Oh, snap. All right. He is a scared little noodle. Beauty is. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in his cage and then we're gonna talk more about him because he is a bit frightened. There you go, little dude. Poor little frightened noodle. Oh, you're taking a poopy right there. I'm sorry. All right, as you can see, we got a water monitor. This particular water monitor was farm bred in a different country and it was shipped into the US. We acquired it from Carolina Reptiles. They are in North Carolina. So thank you again to them for giving us this beautiful animal. So as you can see, it is a baby or a hatchling. It is very small and it is very, very frightened. So these guys, if you don't know, originally come from Southeast Asia, like countries like Indonesia, Sri Lanka, down in those areas. So they require high temperatures, high humidity, and they are considered semi-aquatic. As you can see, there is a large water bowl in there. And that'll only get bigger as the water monitor grows because we want it to be able to completely soak its body and swim. Now I am gonna be putting up a video probably about three or four days after this one going over our complete beginner baby setup. So stay tuned for that video. So these guys are very social and they love to climb. As you can, I don't know if you can see in the background, but this baby is climbing all over that back, that piece in our exoterra there. So 
Again, I will go over a lot more of the cage requirements in the video that'll be going up after this one. And this particular animal is more for the intermediate to advanced reptile keeper. This is not a beginner animal um, because they do require quite a bit of handling and socialization. You kind of have to know what you're dealing with and they get very large. Females, not so much, but if we end up with a male, then they get very, very large, upwards of 60 pounds, and they could be anywhere from six to 10 feet long. I think the longest one on record was found in Sri Lanka at 10 and a half feet. So these guys get very, very large. They require custom enclosures as adults. And if you haven't seen any of our other videos, this is not the first water monitor that we've had. Um, a few years back before we had kids, my husband and I actually acquired a baby water monitor then. It ended up being a female and we had her for eight or nine years. Um, we had some life events happen and I had to rehome her. I ended up rehoming her to a very nice family that gave her her own room and everything. And they just recently told me last year that she had passed away of old age. So it was nice to know that she went to a good home, but this is not our first rodeo. We have had one of these in the past. So we have dealt with it from a baby up to adulthood and we kind of know what we're dealing with here. Yeah, so we are super excited to be able to have another water monitor and be in a capacity to house these beautiful animals. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. There will be a lot more upcoming videos as our water monitor grows and we socialize it and feed it and get it acclimated to our house. So again, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.